So um, when you're on somebody's back, the first thing they're going to worry about is their neck. Like, so and your first goal from the back should be to, to get the either the rear naked from here or the collar chokes. But that's also, that's what he knows is coming. So he's usually going to, his chin will be tucked and his hands will be fighting your hands. So it can be, it can be tough. And it takes a long, this is like, they're like the most basic chokes, but they're also sometimes the hardest to get good at because what everybody worries about when they're here is get, just getting a neck choke right away. So they bury their chin, especially guys with big necks and traps can be very hard to finish. Uh, collar chokes and, and rear naked from here. So we're going to attack using our legs instead of instead of fighting with the arms. We're going to fight. Um, we're going to fight with our legs. Right? So anytime you can, you should always first always make an attack on the neck, whether it's grabbing the collar or just going for the, the rear naked. And then when their hands come up, I want you guys to trap with the kimura grip on that on that arm because right? that's going to give you the ability to, to start to attack with your legs. Right? Now you can hold this grip with the head in or with the head out. They're both super strong, and in some cases, this is even stronger. Um, and a lot of times, as you're doing this, the person will probably head out. They'll push the elbow off and pop his head out, which kind of gives you a little bit more mobility to use your legs. So if you guys are having a little bit of trouble moving your legs with the head in there, it's fine to let the head come out. And I'm kind of always going to try to get to the side of my underhook. So when I'm on the back, I kind of always like to be here because it gives me more uh, options. So first thing you're trying to do is you want to get the top leg over his shoulder. Like that. And then ideally, I get my feet crossed. It's good too if you can hook this arm and pull it away. But I want to get my feet crossed and then pull his arm up above his head. I'm getting one or two reactions. He's either going to turn this way or he's going to turn this way. A lot of times as I, if I pull back on his arm, his hips are going to come up. It's going to make it easier to fall into the basic triangle on this side. So we're just going to drill this. You're going to start on your partner's back. Your hands are going to come to their neck. His hands are going to come to the fan. You're going to trap the, the wrist. Fall to the underhook side. Yeah. To get my legs high enough, you'll see with my legs down around his waist, unless you're super flexible, it's going to be hard to get your leg over the shoulder. So you're going to use your legs. I'm going to step on his hip. I'm going to push him down. And this is a lot of times where you lose his head. Pop his head up. You pop his head out. Just maintain this grip on his arm. It's going to give you super strong control. And then just bring your foot over his shoulder. Bring your hand up or connect your hands. Even if his hands are connected or if he's still protecting his neck with that hand, just get your foot over the shoulder. And then once you get your feet crossed, you should be able to separate his hands. Right. And then from here, I want you to pull his elbow tight to your chest. So get his elbow up above his head, like his bicep to his ear. You can use two hands on the elbow and just pull it. Sometimes you'll, I and mean, if you do this really hard and fast, the person is probably going to scream from this. But you'll see if I put pressure into his, his back, his hips are going to come up. He's going to get easy to move. I want to get to the side, I want my head directly over his head. So don't be laying back like this. Crunch your body up, keep your head close. You're going to pinch your knees and bring both feet to one side. You can grab your shin if you need to. And then lock up the triangle. From here you can squeeze for the finish. And you can attack the straight arm leg. So again, start from here. Make an attack on his neck as soon as his hands come up. Trap the arm. It's, it's unlikely that you'll ever be sitting choking somebody like this, like directly behind. You're almost always going to be here. Right? So it's the same idea. I go to attack his neck, his hands come up, and I trap the arm. And then I need to bring my legs up higher, so I step on his hip, push him down, and get my top leg over his top shoulder, cross my feet, and then I work to separate his hands if they're connected. Right? Pull the arm up above the head, use two hands to control it, keep it tight to your chest, Push your hips into the back of his shoulder, and when his hips get light, roll them to the other side. Keep your head close and, and directly lined up with him. Grab your shin, lock up the triangle, and you can finish with the choke. And if, that's, if the person's not getting choked, just always take their arm. All right? One, two, three.